Hi, I'm Ryan Felthaus, and welcome to Felthaus Family Woodworks. Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how I build my design, the Felthaus Clamp Saddle Jig. For this build, I'm going to be using 3 quarter inch MDF, and the first thing I want to do is break down my full sheet into 12 inch by 48 inch strips. With all my full sheets broken down, I'm now going to go over to the crosscut sled and rip 3 inch by 12 inch strips. In this video, we are batching out 220 pieces of these jigs. If you're looking to only make yourself a set of 8 jigs, you'll need 12 of these pieces. Before I continue to the next step, there's a few jigs that I need to make for the batching process. The first jig I'm going to make is a simple stop block jig so that way I can insert my pieces and make repeated cuts in the same location. I like to use some CA glue to hold the piece in place while I pilot some holes and set screws. Now I'm making a mark at six inches from the stop block and an inch and a half from the side rail, which is dead center of the pieces I milled. Here I'm using my drill with a depth guide to cut out the saddles to receive the three quarter inch pipe point. As you'll see later on in the video, we wound up modifying this design slightly and adding a really cool feature. Using this method was pretty inefficient, so we actually wound up investing in a drill press throughout the course of this build. Now I'm going to make up a sled for my router table. Again, I like to use some contact adhesive just to hold the skid in place while I pilot some holes and set some screws to lock it in. I'm using a 3 8 inch straight cutter bit to make a relief cut for my bit shaft. Basing all of my marks off the center of the relief cut, I'm going to make a series of marks for laying out the saddle of this jig. Over on my miter saw, I'm going to cut out a few gussets for bracing the back of the saddle.
The jig design itself is really simple. It's one backing wall, two gussets for rigidity, and two side walls for holding your workpiece in place. Now I mark out the depth for my channel cut. Here I'm using a 3 8 inch rabbiting bit to cut a relief channel in the bottom of the jig because the top of my chuck was running into the bottom of the jig, not allowing me to achieve the depth I needed for making this cut. Now I'm going to cut a 3 8 inch channel in the top and bottom of all the face plate pieces. Using a three quarter inch mortising bit, I'm going to cut rabbits and all of the back wall pieces. I'm making a mark here at 1 16th of an inch to the inside of my rabbits to account for the drift angle of my dovetail bit. Now that I have the drift angle of my dovetail bit accounted for, I can transfer that measurement over to my faceplate pieces and cut out the dados. Now I use my 3 8 inch dovetail bit to finish out the dovetail. Over on the crosscut sled, I'll rip all the faceplate pieces in half. During the course of this build, I came up with a great idea for inserting rubber grommets into the pipe clamp saddle side for a better friction fit.
I'm using a quarter inch rabbiting bit to open up the radius of the pipe clamps out. Using an eighth inch slot cutter bit, I'm gonna now cut a channel. Over on the drill press, I'm gonna cut out rubber discs for being received in the eighth inch channel. Using some CA glue and accelerator, I'm going to insert the rubber disc into the channel on two pieces. Back over at the crosscut sled, I break the pieces back down in half again. Using a 3 8 inch rabbiting bit, I'm going to cut an additional radius, creating the rubber saddle. Back over at the crosscut sled, I break down all the backplate pieces. It's important to double check and make sure that the back plate doesn't interfere with the saddle in both orientations. I quickly break down all the bottom plate pieces. Using my stop block jig on the drill press, I'll drill 5 16 inch holes for receiving the T-track rods. With the 5 16 inch straight cutter bit on the router, I'll now slip the back plate piece over the bit and then slide the router fence up to meet the piece. This will set the fence for cutting the channel of the face plate. Over on the crosscut sled, I'm cutting out a bunch of inch and three quarter by inch and three quarter inch squares for cutting in half into gussets. With my 45 degree miter jig set up on my miter saw, I'll cut all my blocks in half, creating my gussets. Using my stop block jig, I'll go over to the drill press and pre-drill all my holes for pre-assembly. Using some CA glue, I'll do the initial assembly.
Now I pre-drill all the holes and add screws. Now I run all my pieces through the drum sander just to clean up the edges. And there you have it, the Felt House Clamp Saddle Jig. Thanks for watching.